okay I usually don't um do a video but um and I'm a little late um posting this I just gotta pay attention to the road here but um these past two months despite I uh, had a difficult despite I had a, I mean I had a good Christmas have been a little difficult for uh, one particular reason and um I think I gotta pay attention to the road here, but um, the loss of Jason David Frank has just been, uh, I can't describe it. And again, I'm a little late posting this. It's because he passed on, uh, I believe it was November 19th. And I just can't, describe how I feel about the loss. I mean, it's just been so... It almost feels... The, the way I describe it, I mean, it feels almost insurmountable. I mean, I, I felt when I woke up to the news, and I already didn't like waking up to the news of Kevin Conroy. It was already bad news to wake up to, and I never got to meet him. But, I mean, it was just full on, like, the day the music died. I mean, like when like you got the newspaper and it was just a punch in the face but for me my version modern day version of is facebook and i i looked at the news on facebook and i was just gutted uh completely like a fish just com i was just gutted on the inside completely i'm sorry i'm repeating myself again i haven't i don't really post videos very often and i'm not used to doing it while driving but doing okay but Jason David Frank I mean he just meant so much much to me growing up I mean I didn't do well in school and it was it, it got very hard sometimes and Power Rangers was just always on after school and Jason I mean he Jason David Frank he overthrew uh, the Red Ranger uh, in popularity and just, just there was just something about him that every kid just loved and they thought he was so cool and and when he was supposed to go on PR Troopers the, all the kids just protested to have him back and yeah I mean there was just something about it that just kept making me want to watch Power Rangers even when I got like really really too old uh, to watch it but but it's left me with a lot of feelings. Like, I just don't... Because I've been doing uh, conventions now for the past... Since 2008. And I was so uncertain about them at first. But they've really kind of helped define who I am. I mean, they've been kind of the proms and homecomings I never had. That kind of stuff. And it's just now I just... With... If people like like Jason David Frank and Kevin Conroy just aren't around, I just don't. I'm uncertain if this is if it's going to be the same kind of world I recognize, and that's the way I felt the morning that about Jason David Jason David Frank's passing. I just felt like all of a sudden my child, like one of my childhood heroes if not one of my biggest was just gone and I just I I felt like I was in a world I didn't recognize anymore I didn't know anymore and I feel like maybe now like a new generation has kind of taken over and there's just no room for my generation anymore but I'm gonna go to Emerald City uh, Comic Con in March and I'm gonna see how it goes and I mean, there's been some issues of read pop, a lot of complaints about them, and oh, sorry, I'm just trying to get on the freeway here, but yeah, yeah, last year there were a lot of problems of walking to just different buildings, and I had to walk from one hotel to another, but we'll see how it goes, but I, I just, this loss, is, it's, it's been, 
uh, two, two and a half months so far. About, yeah. And I'm still just, I'm still pretty affected by it. And I think it's going to affect uh, the, the con. I want to... I mean, I've got so many names from the con community, the nerd community, the geek community. Sometimes, and sometimes I just lack, lackadaisically call it the con community, but it's going to affect our community uh, for a long time to come, and it's it's going to be really hard for us to get over it. And I I wish I wish he could have just let the fans. Uh, at least I think whatever he was going through at the time, the fans could have helped him through it. I mean, suicide is a long-term solution to a temporary problem. And I don't know what Jason was feeling at the time. And I don't know if he felt like the solution was long-term or, term or short-term. But the pastor... I had a service. And this, talking about this stuff does make me a little nervous while driving, and I'm just doing my best to pay attention here. But I mean, they said, they said, yeah. I mean, I mean, Jason wasn't himself in that moment, and I, I, I just wish he knew how much he meant to the fans, and I wish he, I wish he could have just let us. Uh, help him get through it. I can get this link right here. Let's see if he can let me. And I wish he would have understood how much we would have and have been affected by this loss. And we're never going to know what what. Jason was thinking and since he's not here I mean it's really hard for us to um, really understand what was going through his head at the time but this is going to affect us for a long time it's going to affect me for a long time to come and I've got to and I got to focus on the road here so peace out